we're now going to take a look at converting binary values to decimal values. So essentially when doing this conversion, we need to first understand the base two format that binary values are arranged in. So this table outlines basically the values, which aligns with where specific zeros and ones fall in a binary digit. On the far right, we have two to the power of zero, which is equal to the one. And then following on that to the left, we have two to the power of one, which equals two, two to the power of two, which equals four, two to the power of three, which equals eight, 2 to the power of 4, which equals 16, 2 to the power of 5, which equals 32, 2 to the power of 6, which equals 64, and 2 to the power of 7, which equals 128. Basically, this full table allows us to calculate 8-bit binary digits, which basically means binary digits that have 8 actual numbers in them, okay? And where those numbers fall, okay, helps us calculate our value. So, let's start trying to calculate a few binary values. So, Let's look at the binary number one. Okay, so that is the binary digit one, and we know it's the binary digit one by the small two being after it, representing that it is binary. The way we calculate that is essentially, we line up that one right on the far right. Okay, and that means there is one times two to the power of zero, which is one. Okay, therefore that equals one times one, which equals one in decimal. Okay, so that's a nice easy one. Basically, one in binary equals one in decimal. Let's now look at another value. So, now we have the binary number one, one. Okay, so once again, we line that up on the right in the same order. So, we have two to the power of one, which is two, and two to the power of zero, which is one. This equals one times two plus one times one, okay, which equals two plus one, which equals three. Okay, in decimal. Our next number is one zero. So it's going to fill up the same slots on our table. Okay, so we have two to the power of one, but we've got zeros two to the power of zero. So this equals one times two, zero times one. Okay, which equals two plus zero, which equals two. Okay, now let's get into a, a bit more of a complex number. So we've got 1, 0, 1, 0 in binary. So let's enter it in the table in the same format. 1 times 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. 0 times 2 to the power of 2. 1 times 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. And 0 times 2 to the power of 0. So that equals 1 times 8 plus 0 times 4 plus 1 times 2 plus 0 times 1, which essentially is 8 plus 2. Okay, which equals 10. Okay, we'll look at another value. Okay, which is 110011. And we shall fill this into the table. So we have 1 times 2 to the power of 5, 1 times 2 to the power of 4, 0 times 2 to the power of 3, 0 times 2 to the power of 2, 1 times 2 to the power of 1, and 1 times 2 to the power of 0. So let's reflect that in its values, okay, which basically is 32 plus 16 plus 2 plus 1, which equals 51 in decimal. The final number we're going to look at is basically when all the table is filled in with 1s. And this basically helps us understand what the largest possible value in binary is. So let's fill in all our 1s. Okay, so we're going to have all of these values included in our calculation, okay? And I hope now you're starting to see the pattern in the values in that they all basically are the double of the previous number, which makes it easier to calculate in your head when you know this, or if you're forgetting what to the power of three is, for example, and you remember what to the power of two is, okay? You just need to double the value. But essentially, all our values are active this time. Okay, so we've got one times 128, plus one times 64, plus one times 32, plus one times 16, plus one times eight, plus one times four, plus one times two, plus one times one. This ends up equaling, okay, basically 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus eight plus four plus two plus one, which gives us 255. Now this is a rather special number, okay? Firstly, it knows if you're ever doing a binary calculation on eight bit binary numbers, if the number's greater than 255, you've made a mistake. So that's one benefit of knowing this. The other thing to know too is, it actually aligns with character sets. So when this binary digits, they all translate through ASCII and EPSIDIC into a specific symbol, 
okay, when using programs. Okay, and a lot of these symbols are based on 8-bit binary, so they align with a number between 0 and 255, and that becomes a specific, specific ASCII digit. So I hope this gives you an understanding of converting binary numbers into decimal values, and specifically how it's done through the use of this table, and basically where a specific number sits in a binary digit, it aligns with a specific base 2 value, okay, which then gets added up where all the 1s are, okay, in order to give us our decimal number.